First, a huge scare for shoppers at a busy Walmart. First targeted by crooks with guns, then at the center of a bomb threat all day. The one-two punch happened at the store along Turkey Lake Road just south of Sand Lake Road in Orange County. News 6's Nadine Yanis joins us live outside that store in Nadine. Do we know if these two cases are connected? Well, that's what deputies are looking into right now. But I do know is that I was here in the middle of that evacuation earlier. Employees and shoppers were held even further back than where I was standing right now for a few hours. But just at 2 o'clock, that evacuation was list lifted. And if you look now, business is back to normal here. But with two evacuations, an armed robbery, a bomb threat, and two arrests today was anything but normal here at the Walmart. Orange County deputies posted up at this Turkey Lake Walmart not once, but twice within 12 hours today. Sky 6 flew over the second evacuation due to a bomb threat around lunchtime. And though deputies say it turned out to be nothing, the management here took no chances when that call that there was a bomb in the store came in. Because of that incident this morning, the management chose to go the route that they did, take it a little more seriously than, than not. And that's because just past midnight, deputies say two managers were robbed at gunpoint by Roderick Hauser and Malcolm Shabazz. Their arrest report showing they came in with guns and a bandana covering their faces and approached the managers changing out money, targeting the self-checkout lanes. Yelling curse words at one manager to open the safe and stealing the keys right off her belt and then took off according to the report. Not knowing where they went and if they were still in the store is what prompted the first evacuation. And all of a sudden we saw like the whole store being evacuated, like all the employees and customers were screaming, running out. Shoppers this afternoon said it wasn't as chaotic the second time around. It's been very calm. It's very, it's like routines, like they've uh, done it before. And so deputies tell us that there is surveillance footage. You're getting a look at some of the security cameras out here. And I learned that this footage must have been pretty good because through their arrest reports, I learned that deputies use that surveillance video in a creative way to catch these two accused armed robbers. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that tonight at 6. Julie.